Born as the seventh and last child of his parents, Adolf was first trained as a locksmith, then as a watchmaker who repaired grandfather clocks and pocket watches. He came to Lübeck in 1890 and married Katharina Seefeld, who divorced him in 1910. At the age of 19, his son was sent to a lunatic asylum for moral crimes. Seefeld is said to have been abused by two men at the age of 12. He was first imprisoned at 25 years for sexual harassment of a boy. Psychiatrists diagnosed him as mentally unstable, which is why he spent most of his life in mental hospitals and prisons. The traveler and watchmaker Adolf Seefeld, also called Sandman, or, because of his profession, Uncle TikTok and Uncle Lottie, abused and killed at least 12 boys during the reign of the Third Reich. As a crime scene, he usually chose pine preservations with one exception. A commonality was found in the victim's clothing, who consistently wore sailor suits. Since all children were sleeping peacefully and showed no signs of external violence, the police were mystified by the circumstances of death. It is therefore possible that Seefeld committed more murders that were considered natural deaths. Contemporary experts speculated that Seefeld had used his own homemade poison, chloroform, or smothered his victims. According to Hans Pfeiffer, a well-known author of popular science books on authentic criminal cases, these theories were disproven with little effort. Pfeiffer suspected, however, that Seefeld had put his victims into a hypnotic sleep, then probably performed oral sex on them and let them lie asleep in the woods, where he failed to awaken them from hypnosis. The children later died of hypothermia, which Seefeld had accepted or intended. His victims ranged from toddlers to 12-year-old boys. One, the investigative authorities assumed that the actual number of casualties was much higher, possibly claiming up to 100 live citations. After the closing arguments of February 21st, the verdict for the murder cases was announced the following day. Seafelt was sentenced to death.